Good day learners, today we're gonna talk about sound. Do you know what sound means? A sound is an energy caused by vibrations. It travels in a form of sound waves. A sound wave is both longitudinal and mechanical. When we say longitudinal, vibrations are parallel to the direction of the wave. And mechanical, it needs a medium to propagate. As what you can see in the diagram, Longitudinal wave has compressions and rarefactions. Compression occur when particles move close together, creating regions of high pressure. On the other hand, rarefactions occur when particles are spread apart, creating regions of low pressure. Now, the distance between one compression to the next compression or one rare fraction to the next rare fraction is called a wavelength. A sound wave travels or propagates on solids, liquids, and gas. It travels fastest on solids since particles are close together, while slowest on gas since particles are far. There are three factors affecting speed of sound. That's the medium's elasticity, medium's density, and the temperature. Now, let's talk about elasticity. It is the ability of a material to return to its original form after a certain amount of force has been applied to it, just like a bow and an arrow, a rubber band, and many more. An object is said to be elastic when it can be stretched, but it will go back to its original form. Sound travels faster in objects with high elasticity like most solids. Another factor that can affect the speed of sound is the medium's density. Density is the amount of mass per area of space or volume of a material. Here in the diagram, we say honey is denser than liquid soap. Liquid soap is denser than water. And water is denser than olive oil. Have you ever tried mixing water and oil? As you can observe, oil will just float on top of the water because oil is less dense than water. Ethyl alcohol is less dense among the substances here in the diagram. Going back to our topic, sound waves travels faster on less dense objects. As we all know, warm air rises and cool air sinks. It is because warm air is less dense than cool air. So the sound travels faster on warm air and it travels slower on cool air. Another factor that affects the speed of sound is the temperature. Sound travels faster at high temperature. Sound travels faster on warm air since it has high temperature and sound travels slower in cool air because cool air has low temperature. Have you ever tried heating up a water in a kettle? Like for your coffee? Well, as you can observe, the water will produce sound as long as it heats up. The speed of sound in air is 331 meters per second. This speed gets faster when temperature is increased. The speed of sound increases by 0.60 meters per second with every increase of 1 Celsius degree. Now, let's proceed to the properties of sound. First property of sound is the reflection the bouncing back of sound waves. When a sound hits a hard surface, it bounces back to its original source. Have you ever tried shouting on a certain place and then suddenly you hear the same sound as you shouted? Well, that is an echo, a repetition of a sound due to reflection. 
Another example for the reflection of sound is the reverberation, that is, multiple sound reflections. That's the reason why movie theaters really use curtains and foams or other materials that could lessen the reverberation in a room. Next property of sound is the refraction. The bending of sound waves, especially when sound travels to a different medium. It could either be solid, liquid, or gas. Sound waves bend due to the difference in temperature. Of course, warmer air, the particles are far apart, and in cooler air, the particles are closer together. So that's the reason why refraction happens during the daytime sound tends to bend upwards and during the night time sound tends to bend downward the reason why concerts are better heard in an open area during the night so that's it i hope you learned something today thank you so much for watching